Hey y'all, welcome to Chef Outdoors. Today, we're at Fellsmere Headwater Preserve, and wow, first time here, it is absolutely gorgeous. This place is ridiculously beautiful. <laughs> back in the enhanced area throwing my uh, doa cow check out that that's called a snake coil i mean that thing just looks ridiculous i love it <laughs> anyway we're gonna pitch up here see if we can't find some nice bass today first time here so i'm gonna be exploring it's actually like 20 foot deep where we're sitting it must be on the edge of it, it must be oh, look at the big old turtle that's what that was Ooh, big soft shell huge Swing and a miss. First cast with the crankbait. What's a crankbait? Nice bass. Oh, all right. <laughs> but it is a bass. One in the boat. <laughs> there we go. Third fish is going already. Get a little hotter, we'll start flipping worms a little more. My favorite flyer time is treble hook. There we go. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah. On the DOA snake coil. Sweet. Later, little buddy. Oh, 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 the nice fish. Trying to help you. He doesn't want help.
Look at that, the DOA snake coil, man. That is a killer looking worm. Beautiful. Man, there's so many beautiful fish up here. They're so clean. What the hell I got? I got a catfish. What? Oh. <laughs> He's coming home for dinner. There's my catch clean and cook right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Tails kicking butt. Hey y'all, so what an awesome day of fishing. We went up to Felsmere Preserve, never been there before. Got to go back like a hundred more times. Place was a giant maze, but it was very cool. Um, a lot of fish, a lot of fun, a lot of exploring. Found some cool spots. The wind really kicked up at the end. We had to get out of there, but what a, what a fun place. A lot of hype around it, and it was pretty good. I tell you what, best day of bass fishing I've had on some public waters in a long time. Uh, and I'm sure I'll do better the more that I learn the place. So it'd be pretty neat to go back and find some new areas and do some new things. So you saw I did keep one catfish. I figured, heck, what the heck. I figured I would just keep this catfish. Just a quick uh, little uh, catch, clean, and cook for you. I actually got that on a DOA uh, snake oil uh, glow series. I mean, I think the bass are eating it and the catfish. <laughs> it must taste good. I don't know. We're going to do a, like a uh, southern jalapeno cheese grit with uh, panko fried uh, catfish out in our fire disc. Uh, What I got over here is a little bit of seasoned flour, you know, garlic, salt, pepper, the favorite friends here. All right, and over here, a little pink of breadcrumbs. Again, a little garlic, salt, and pepper. Okay, now what else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start some grits over here. So what it is, I got some, a uh, little bit of salt in my pan. All right, so I'm gonna add some half and half or heavy cream because I like cream in my grits. Milk is okay, half and half. I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to it. You're like, well, well how much water are you going to add? Well, you know, I don't know. Some. I'm going to stir it in and get it thick and it'll be good. I got some cheese and peppers, some spicy peppers. So I'm going to chop them all up and they're going to go in my grits. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to mix my grits in. Now, while I'm waiting to mix my grits in, I'm going to fry some onions with my catfish. And I got to get these peppers going. So, whew, let's, hey. Let's chop these onions up. So I got paint, hot, salt, and it's a bowl. That's all right. So we got a bowl. We made it to the onion. All right, real quick. See, it's an onion. It's peeled. It's, it's jumping all over the place. It's all right. We're going to keep it here. Boom. We're done. Okay. We got that done. See, prep's easy. It's going to wake you up around 3 a.m. kind of pepper. All right? Anyway, we're going to take that. We're going to add it to the grits in a minute. We don't want any stems. Let's get rid of the stems. No stems, no stems, no stems, no stems, man. We don't want no stems. All right. So we've been stemmed. We're gonna take these, chop up. We're gonna go in my grits because I like it spicy. So we're gonna put this in there. Cream mixture is uh, ready to go. Um, it'll overflow super quick with the cream in it. All right. So as soon as it comes up to a boil, you gotta be ready to whisk this stuff in. Also, a lot of people just like to put the water in and uh, and then add the cream later. I just don't because I'm special like that. So stir it in. It's going to thicken up pretty quick, to be honest. All the grit is is a, a southern man's polenta. All right. Whoa, it's going to kill me. Holy crap. It's hot. Whoa. Napalm. All right. So I'm going to dump them. Woo. Look at that. Chop peppers up in there. We're going to go cook this um, catfish. You know, my massive, huge catfish. No, it was... It was actually, you know, it wasn't that big. I was hungry. You know, what can I say? I'm a hungry guy. We're going to cook it on the fire disc outside, so let's go. So we were running, and we were going to go cook the catfish. However, 
nobody breaded the catfish. So I thought we might bread the catfish. Look, we got stuff. That's all we got. Catfish, right? We got egg wash. We got bread cream. Here's how we're gonna do it. All right, so we're gonna take the catfish. You know, I filleted better fish in my day. Well, not the fish. I want, I've done a better job flaying fish in my day. Seasoned flour, a little bit of egg wash, and into the breadcrumbs. I got one hand clean. Why? Because you're supposed to, but you know, do what you want. All right, seasoned flour. All right, the flour sticks, makes the egg stick, and the egg makes the breadcrumb stick. See, it's like a symbiont relationship. They help each other. Why not? Go into there. Go into there. I'm just trying to make it, you know, extra tasty because I like it tasty. And then, a little texture, a little something, right? Why not? Not planned. Just making it happen. Anyway, so we got the fire disc out here. It's super hot. Probably gonna burn the crap out of myself because you know I usually do. We are gonna balance plates on our arm. Look, it's a miracle. No. Anyway, we're gonna put an onion in the grease. It's not hot yet, so we're gonna wait. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's hot. Okay, I can see it. Check it out. Okay, we almost broke something, but we didn't. See? It's hot. I swear. All right, everybody. Hey, we're going in with the catfish. Right? Anyway, I'm gonna put the catfish in. Always let it drop away from you. If it splashes towards you, it'll burn you. Oh, that's nice. All right, looking good. Heck yeah. Take that fish. It's probably already cooked. I'm gonna put it off to the side, which is gonna keep it hot. Yeah, that's the coolest thing about that. I'll show you in a minute. Keeps it off to the side as you can see it from there. And I'm gonna finish up with these onions. So yeah, cook it off to the side, and they're about ready to come out already. Onions. Man, they look so good. I've never fried onions like this in the fire dish before. Man, they ridiculous. I tell you, this thing just impresses me all the time. Grab my fish. y'all let's go inside huh i got my grits i got my cheese i got my fish and my onions oh, looks good all right i want to taste the grits i haven't tasted them oh, holy crap they're hot oh my goodness i don't mean oven hot <coughs> don't tell my wife <laughs> they're very good though anyway oh i gotta put my cheese in my grits it'll help because they're spicy all right cheese grits Save a little bit for garnish. You know what? I'm gonna take the whisk out of here. I'm gonna mix it up. I got a little ladle. I love grits. Oh yeah. Okay. We're gonna put a big old pile of grits. All right. We're gonna put that on there. We're gonna go on top of these fried onions. Look at that. And we're gonna finish off with a little bit of cheese. Woo! That looks good, right? Dang. What? That looks amazing. If I do say so myself. <laughs> anyway, this looks good. Let's give it a shot, all right? Hey! Oh my goodness. The fact I almost broke the chair. It's all right. Hey! How y'all doing? This is our dinner. Anyway, so cool day, right? Fills me your head reserve. We had fun, it was beautiful. Got lots of alligators and ducks and fishes and all kinds of great stuff. Are you, are you ready, you gonna try it? Well, I hope so. When you caught the catfish, I said, oh, we're not really keeping that, are we? And I said, yes, we are. So, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've never kept a catfish for you before, have I? Nope. <clears throat> no, there's a lot of first times, you know? I'm excited about the grits, though. The grits are good. Do you like grits? Any go? Yeah, go. Grits. Yeah, grits are amazing. Mm, they are. Aren't they good? Yeah. Very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. But they're <laughs> good like this that. This is really hot. 
spicy food. Oh, we like spicy food though. Onions? Yeah, it's a fried onion. I made them in the fire nice. too. I remember fried onions in the fire nest. Actually, fried onions are good. I really just want to try the catfish. I'm interested in the catfish here. Yeah, look how crispy that is. Fried onions are the best. Oh, boom. With these grits, mm. these spicy grits. It's the way to go. Good? We're good. I don't think they're good though. No. Try the catfish. No. A little fresh Florida catfish. I'm gonna be honest if I don't like yeah, it. Right. Now you've seen her eat. It's like the smallest bite of food I've ever seen her take. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. I gotta taste a bigger bite, I think, before no, I'm gonna bite. Bite. My mouth is kind of on fire from mm -hmm. the grits. The grits are hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Right? No, not all that. It's a squirmy, slimy looking fish, but it tastes good. Yep. On Florida, we got all kinds of catfish. We got catfish in freshwater, we got catfish in ditches, we got catfish in saltwater. But the ones I generally eat are just the freshwater catfish. Now, sometimes some ditch catfish. You never know what you find in the ditch. Could be good. Yeah, true. My table is clean, I swear. Notice how he never gives us napkins. That's what sleeves are for. Oh, or drinks. It's hot, right? You got a pepper. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. I'm gonna go for the onion. Onion's great, isn't it? Anyway, y'all, mm -hmm. we're finishing up. It's been fun. Our fishing adventure in your spots were fun. I just bit of pepper in the grits. My head is running. <laughs> <coughs> They're hot. Watch out. <coughs> <coughs> you want me to close it up for you? Close it up for me here. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Share. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your mothers, brothers, uncles, cousins, roommates. Follow. Some well, there's gotta be someone in the neighborhood fireman, local fire department. Yes, get them watching. Get them watching. You know they love to cook mm -hmm. stuff. I think a lot of my buddies are firemen. Should have one of them on the show. Anyway, y'all have a great night. Thanks uh, for watching, and we're just gonna keep pumping them out. So keep liking, subscribing, and sharing. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to choke to death. <coughs> Goodbye. Should we do that over? <laughs> Woo! Maybe you should do it over now that popping. Like, subscribe, share, comment, write nasty letters. <clears throat> do that. Write positive letters. Do that. You can do that. It's always good. Liking is great. Liking is great. Telling your neighborhood policemen or firemen or anybody who wants to come out. Tell their brothers, buddies, uncles, and roommates and cousins and whoever. Barber. Barbers are good. Maybe they can share it too. We gotta grow. I mean, I'm a big guy. I got a lot of space to fill. So, y'all come on back sometime. Y'all, thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a great night.